uh, like Coach Bailey was talking about, Army is a, a triple option team. Um, biggest thing with, with a team like this is just discipline. Whether it's our discipline, um, the discipline to, to, for me, I know that I'm going to be tackling the dive, you know. So every play, whether he has the ball or not, tackle him. You know, and, and it's, it, it gets to a point in the game sometimes where, as a player, you know, you want to make the big play. You want to make the play um, that you feel like your team needs or, or that you want to get your name in the paper. But what you got to do a lot of times versus a team like uh, Army is put yourself to the back burner, you know, and uh, understand that uh, this is going to be a complete team victory. And so you just got to do your one live, you know. And so. Uh, I think the the big word for this week will just be discipline. So taking that dive, guys, a fullback in the head the next day, or uh, you, you'll make him not want the ball. <laughs> oh man, well you know you know how I'm gonna answer that. You know, <laughs> you know, um, I'm, I'm I'm gonna definitely do everything uh, in my power to make sure that that he you know wants the quarterback to go and keep that ball. You know, I'm gonna just just say it like that, but um, but. You know, uh, I definitely go into every game uh, with the mentality of respect to all bar none, you know. So uh, I'm going to respect everyone's game. I'm going to prepare the same way each week. Um, and I'm just going to go in there. And then once once we, we get in the game, we're going we're gonna to see. Like you said, you know, just tackle your man. It sounds easy. But can you talk a little bit more about that urge, that temptation to try to make a, maybe a bigger play? Yeah, I mean, uh, throughout the course of a game, you get tendencies on your opponent. Uh, you kind of, you know, uh, a lot of O-linemen, uh, especially interior-wise, they, you know, talk to each other because they got to know who's going to go up, who's going to, you know, take the nose, who's going to, you know what I'm saying, if they got his own play, who, like, they, they communicate often. And so uh, a lot of times uh, you can pick up on the verbiage that they're using and you can kind of be like, oh, okay, so if I do this on this play, I'm gonna be able to, to to come through it and make a make a nice play, but you gotta fight that temptation um, because it'll be on that play that you think you can spread through that they're gonna get that dive and like I said they're gonna be playing that you know uh, I don't know Army fight song but <laughs> whatever it is they they gonna be playing that so um, it, it's definitely just a, 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 a you basically just gotta everything you do you gotta know that you need to put the team first. You know, so. What's special to you about playing the uh, military cadets? Playing the, uh, the cadets. cadets? Oh. Uh, I think it's just special because, you know, the like Coach Bailey was saying, these guys are, are dedicating themselves uh, not only to uh, the, their school but to this country, um, knowing that they're going to be in service after, their, after they graduate. So, um, I think it, it's just an honor to, to compete against uh, men of, of their character, you know, men who uh, are giving of themselves for the betterment and protection of, you know, us uh, as a whole, as a country, as a nation. So, it, it's, it's one of those things where it's, it's an honor to, to really be able to go out there and, and um, have a, a clean, fair game with them, you know. You mentioned discipline going hand-in-hand hand with that effort. How, how big do you know that's going to be finishing through all four quarters against a team like Army? Oh, it's going to be big. It's going to be huge. It's going to be huge because, um, you know, like I was saying earlier, the, the, the time that you don't do your job is, the, is, the, is what they're getting their big plays off of. The time that you don't, even though, even though you may be tired of, of tackling the dive and he don't have the ball, still tackle because the time that you say, oh, no, he ain't got the ball, he gonna be gone, you know? And so it, it, it's just it's just a big a big thing of, of what will you do to help your team, you know? And I think that's what all of us as players gotta ask ourselves, um, you know? Uh, like we know that the season hasn't gone as, as we hope, but we looking to get it back on track uh, this week, and so in order to do that, we got to play a uh, complete team ball. And is it more fun for you as a defensive lineman going into a game where you, you know you can expect to run almost every play? Uh, yeah, I think I think it's one of those things where uh, 
it, it, it basically, it's no, it's no surprises, no tricks. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what you're, you're stepping into. And uh, I think as a player, uh, any player, you, you kind of like when you step into a situation where you know what's, what's about to happen. Um, I think to an extent, it could put a little bit of added pressure, but you just can't succumb to the pressure. You just got to understand that you've been working for this since you started training back in January. If you do what your coaches tell you, you know, read your keys, execute the play that is called, and do your responsibility, you, you'll, you'll come out all right. As an interior lineman with guys like Womack and uh, other guys getting to the quarterback, how does that make your uh, your job easier? Uh, I mean, yeah, Womack and uh, Womack and Grayson have been playing incredible ball this this whole season. Um, I think just for all of us, uh, they're, they're making our jobs a lot easier because those offensive tackles have to know that they have to to get this guy like. We can't block him with a tight end. We can't block him with a back. We we have to account for him. And uh, that was one thing you saw Pitt do. They changed their protection from previous games when they played us. And so um, that's a certain level of respect that is shown from an opposing team. You know, uh, like Coach said, max max protection. Um, you got to take those things as a sign of respect. They, they know that you're uh, able to get after the, the pass. I mean, get after the, uh, the quarterback in the, in the pass. So, um, a lot of times, teams have to switch up their how they're gonna, you know, uh, protect offensively. So, um, having guys like Grayson and Womack back to your original question is is amazing because now I know I have a better opportunity to to squirt through, you know, like I like I did last game, just you know, because I know that th these guys might slide to him in order to keep him from getting, you know, sack number six or seven, you know, so. How much have you grown since missing most of last year uh, oh, to yeah. now playing really where you want to? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's been incredible. Um, you know, I always uh, believe that uh, things happen for a reason, you know. Uh, and I really feel like the time that I spent away from, uh, from playing really was able to give me a lot of perspective, you know, uh, really able to, to basically – reignite re my, my love for the game, you know, and uh, just kind of let me know that, you know, it's not it's not promised, you know. Nothing, nothing is, is promised. Uh, a lot of times Cut Baylor talks to us about, you know, uh, live for the dash, and basically what he, he means by that is the dash for, on, your, on your tombstone that has your birthday and your, your death date and that dash in the middle, and it's about what are you gonna do in that dash? And so, um, you know, I just wake up each day, uh, follow a, a pretty solid routine, and I just kind of focus on, on getting better each day. And I, I think the the time that I had last year to kind of look back on what I had done and think about what I wanted to accomplish uh, and how I should get there, I think that was a, a positive I could take away from that. Because Arnie controls the ball so well, how big would it be to get a couple of turnovers on him? Oh, that'd be huge. I think uh, every every day we, that's what we, we we talk about is uh, going to practice, uh, doing you know lawn boys trying to rip that ball up out of there. Uh, any any kind of way we can we can get a turnover as a as a defense and give the ball to our offense is is a positive. So especially with a team who likes to control the clock, it'll it'll be even better because. That'll just give our offense another opportunity to, you know, score and everything like that.